Hello guys, my name is Omar Esteves. Um, I was just watching the replies of the photo match tutorial in Spanish that I made and I feel and I just said that 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 I could have explained a lot of things that I did not. Uh, let's say for example the the horizontal line and what the green and the red lines mean. So uh, I'm about to close the office and I want to show you guys how quick uh, this can be understood. So I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna go to import and I'm gonna import this building that I just downloaded from Google. Um, we have to select it as a new matched photo and we have to click on open. Once it is uh, open we can move, uh, I mean by holding the shift key and of course uh, pushing the scroll button if on the mouse down we can uh, drag it just as we do in SketchUp and we can zoom in and zoom out. This red and green lines are the vanishing point lines. These are pointing to the vanishing points. In this case, this is a two point uh, perspective. And this yellow line here, as you can see, is the horizontal line. Of course, uh, just by my sense, I would say that this is kind of the perspective. But what we're gonna do is gonna align these little lines here with the building so everything we draw will be drawn in perspective according to the picture so I'm gonna make this as quick as I can you see I can zoom in and make it as detailed as I want for me it is well okay now and I'm gonna zoom in a little here and I'm gonna move this a little here okay this is basically okay uh, we can close this option here with the right click and clicking in done now we have this sketch over window here displayed if you don't have it you can go to window and enable this match photo option here this will display this window in which we can always go back by clicking this edit matched photo button uh, to realign the lines as many times as we want also uh, we can play with the opacity of the model and let me draw something i'm gonna click here in done again and i'm gonna make this quick drawing you see everything i'm drawing is being drawn in perspective and i'm gonna make just like this little thing and i'm gonna extrude it you see it's been extruded according to the perspective i'm gonna make uh, I don't know uh, an offset here or something and I'm gonna push or I'm gonna make a circle here and I'm gonna extrude it to the other side to make a hole so this is well you see we can uh, move uh, navigate as much as we can and we can always go back just by clicking here because the photo match uh, picture is saved as as seen so I can turn the model off and I can apply materials just uh, as any other um, uh, model in Photoshop I mean of course this is not scaled I can scale it let's say for example this is like 50 meters I want to resize it and this is it you see uh, well all I have to do for the render well first of all if you guys know the position of the Sun and the location of the building you can uh, play with the shadows create them and move them and make them uh, and align them with the original picture so uh, this is basically it i don't think i'm missing anything right now all you have to do for the render is go to the output uh, set the output that you want the most uh, i make it larger uh, than the original picture and then i go to camera and i decrease the zoom factor to 0.75 because sometimes it comes larger and it comes out of the perspective I mean if I make a render the, the volume doesn't come complete so I'm gonna make the render just like this with the default settings and I'm gonna save it as a PNG instead of a or of a, a JPEG so it is not gonna come with a, with a background this is it I'm gonna save it instead of a JPEG format I'm gonna save it as a PNG and I'm gonna name it like this 
and let's see if it's been saved here it is so all i have to do is open it with photoshop cs5 and i also have to import sorry also have to import this open with photoshop this is a pretty small image that i just downloaded i didn't even watch it so i'm just dragging this here and all you have to do is click i mean hit ctrl t to make these little grids appear we can zoom in by holding alt and moving the scroll up and down and by holding the shift key i can keep the proportion so i'm just making this it has a proportion you have to scale it let's say that it's that's it that that is all that you have to do and well i explained this in five in six minutes i mean this is really quick and i got and i want to urge you guys to share i mean you see this is not hard it's not uh, difficult i'm using camtasia studio and i just want to tell you guys that well by making these little time investments we help a lot of new users and we also learn a lot because everybody has something to to teach and we all have something to learn from each other so uh, i hope you guys find this helpful and uh, see you around